All right, we're back for round three of Versus Live, where we pit Ancient Stirrings versus Faithless Saluting. It's 1v1. It is 1v1. It's for all the marbles. Some of the marbles. A reasonable half the marbles. I mean, is, where, what are we Ross, playing for lunch? Oh, come on, Ross. This is the second Both time in two Glenn, days. Ross, over here, forgetting to turn his mic on. The beauty of live television, folks. Todd distracted me during the break. Oh, did I? <laughs> yep. I'm pretty sure you distracted yourself. Nope. Todd distracted me. That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, yeah, that's my it's fault. his fault. That's fine. We're back. It's one happened. One. It happened match three Tuesday. Yeah, well. yeah. I'm aware. I'll get it under control. Don't worry. <laughs> it's match three. We're playing for lots of marbles. We really do need a jar of marbles yes, here. Yes, that can, would actually can, be Can great. we invest in a that? Prop? Yeah, prop we'll, we'll, we'll talk to the... We can, as in you, can no. bring marbles. We are contractors, sir. You can buy your own dang marbles <laughs> and bring them in. I'm, I'm going to talk to some people, <laughs> and we're going to get some marbles here. We should right. put them in the trophy that's sitting over there, sure. and then we can play for the marbles that sit in the trophy. It'll be perfect. Great. Regardless, we are playing, once again, Ancient Stirrings versus Faithless Looting. Yes. Todd is now on Ironworks. This is Peter Goglowski's second place list from... GP Atlanta. I am playing Martin Jews' fifth place Hollow One deck. These were two players that faced off in the quarterfinals with Peter taking it, I believe, in three games, but I'm not sure. Um, uh, Goglowski did not win. Oh, sorry, the quarterfinals, yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, so a close matchup. Game one is going to very much be a race. Neither of us has a lot of interaction. Todd's engineered explosives that are normally very good against aggressive decks aren't great mm. in this matchup. The creatures that they hit are creatures that come back. Uh, the real heavy hitter is it doesn't hit because they're too expensive. And Pirate Spellbomb doesn't kill really anything past um, Flame Blade Adept. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be a, a very uh, quick race to, to yeah. see who gets to the finish line first. Um, the sideboards, I think those games actually favor you pretty heavily. Um, because, I've got a good sideboard. We've got yeah. a lot of interaction after the board, so those are going to be more interesting. Yeah, Todd but, is going to have some more size, which are good against the Graveyard Hate, the Ley Lines. Uh, a card that all the Ironworks decks have implemented and is very powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll we'll see how it goes, but I, I'm I'm ready to just get to this one because game one's going to be a race, and I want to get to the cyborg games because those are the interesting ones. Okay, so I lost, right? So yeah, I get sure. To go, I get to go first. Yes, yeah. that's what just what we do now. Whatever you want. Well, I don't I don't care, man. I feel like you're mad at me. <laughs> all right, my hand is reasonable. We have ancient stirrings, so we're gonna keep. Uh, my hand is also reasonable. We're going to hit some lands, but hopefully our burning inquiries kind. All right, I think I want to go ahead and just get this chromatic sphere on the battlefield. Oh, no. Call us your okay. turn, just so I can pop that and dig for more lands next turn. I will play a flame blade adept, the All best right. turn one play in the deck. Well, burning inquiry into multiple hollow ones can be quite a bit better. All right, I'm going to float a green off this. Going to stirrings. Take Dark Steel Citadel since it works with Ironworks pretty well. And we have most of our combo, so we don't really need a uh, uh, Scrap Trawler just yet. And then let's play this. Let's take it. Okay. Not the best draw. Let's start by cycling a Street Wraith. I'm at 18. Get my head up to, to a 2 2. And still have not found a land, so Burning Inquiry. Well, that can change things. Yeah. Pretty significantly. The the other disruptive element of my deck. Yeah. Burning Inquiry. Take all Todd's good cards. All right, here's eight. Just pick them at random. Yeah, that's... I'm not rolling dice. No, none of that nonsense. The only time I like rolling dice... That one? What? What? What can't... So you, you selected this one? Mm, yeah. Sure? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pick this one that's hiding under here. Okay. And this one. Okay. Put this one back. <laughs> it's all three of these. No! Crap. All right. And you made me discard a land. What? <laughs> I'm just saying you could have made me discard my only land. Oh, no. You probably drew another land. It's fine. Uh, okay, so, uh, I did draw another land. Hey, my hand one. just got way better. Wow, my hand did not. No, did. Uh, but this now is a five power creature, so the Flame Wake Phoenix will trigger on the beginning of my combat, so let's attack for seven. Uh, sure it's not a four power creature? I cycled the Street Wraith. You did. Okay, five, seven, I'm at 13. 13. Pass the turn. That's a pretty, pretty good turn there. Actually, though. you know what, I'm, I'm actually going to use the fetch instead. If I draw another fetch land, it might be relevant for the... So, 15, for, or are you going to just take one? I'm going to shock. Okay. Yeah, My so life total is basically irrelevant. I'm at 15. Yeah. 
that draw. Todd did get a, a nice selection of cards off the inquiry. I had a lot of Graveyard Matters cards, and he got my other inquiry, which is probably the best one for him to force me to discard. Unless he's gonna hit, unless he was gonna hit both my lands. I'm gonna I guess giving you life doesn't really matter. It does not. Alright, you're at sixteen. I'm gonna play Ninja Explosives for one, say go. It was more of a defensive measure. Uh popping the star is not the best. I could just go for actually I might actually I should probably just go for a combo kill. Let me let me just I can't kill him this turn, but hold on, I'm back I'm still on <laughs> still on my turn. I'm changing my mind. Okay. Alright, we're gonna ancient stars. Sure. Alright, we'll just take a star. And I will play star and play explosives for one. So okay, you are so you're still at 60. You're no, still because 60. you stirred and now explosive for a color. Oh, you're right, you're right. So I'm at 70. 70. Okay. Okay, now I get to draw this irrelevant card. Attack Todd for three. Bring some 10. Cast a Gurmag Angler, leaving a uh, lightning bolt. Sure. You can go. Draw turn. Uh, play a card plan. Okay. I'm gonna sack this, get two mana, and draw a card. I don't know where my mana things are. Okay. Two mana. Draw. I will go to four mana. Draw. We got one for each color. We don't have a colorless one. Uh -huh. You don't. Yeah, make... It's somewhere. You don't make white mana. Hmm. Probably only make green. Like sometimes you, you generally, while you're going through the combo, want to make lots of different colors. Or you might need to make blue. Uh, want to make lots of different colors in case you need to engineer explosives. But I don't know. That's right, um, it's probably not going to come up. I think I'm just dead. Did you I just break? I, well, I, I mean, I didn't have the the three mana one, so I didn't have the yeah. I didn't have trawler. Scrap trawler. What do you got over there? Lands and spine. I could have went sack these two instead of play this and spine this, but then I'm left with just this versus these with ten life. And that just seems kind of gross. Yeah, it doesn't seem great. No, I yep. already drew a card off this, so uh, just... you're you're not going to be dead next turn though. Okay, go. At least not based on what's in my hand. Not. If you draw any looting effect, I'm dead. That's definitely true, but I didn't. So okay. cool. Flame Mike Phoenix attack. That's 10 damage. I'm at 10. Sack your Dark Steel Citadel. Sack Engineer Explosives. Kill this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Look, go to why one. don't you play these decks? Why did you make me play? Pass the turn. <laughs> well, I'm still... I'm at one. Okay. Yeah. I'm still You're not dead. likely to win. Um, but you could. So explosives with zero. Two, four, five, six, seven. Spine this. <laughs> And be dead. Okay. Yeah. I didn't say you were likely to win. <laughs> I just said you weren't dead. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Ah. You, know, you never know with that deck. A, a good string of draws, and yeah, you could. I was hoping get I would find it. a scrap trawler or uh, an ancient stirrings off of the first chromatic star sacrifice, um, just so that I could generate green mana that turn off of the second chromatic star. And then actually cast and maybe find it, but yeah. I just I was just a little yeah, short. Yeah, drew a few too many lands. So, all right, let's answer a few questions from chat. If you were to play any of the red based decks at regionals, what would you choose and why? I would choose a faithless looting deck. Other than that, I have no idea. <laughs> Dread. <laughs> Wait, is that a red based deck? I guess so. Cause yeah, <laughs> all the cards you're casting that aren't the. the uh, it's, it's mono red splash life from the loam and some sideboard cards. That's true. All, all the cards that you're putting in your graveyard are not red though, really. So that's what, fun. What kind of cards or effects would you like to see come from the next set 
speaking uh, for modern purposes specifically? What about Simic because it has been relatively weak in the format outside of Infect? Um, like any kind of effects or effects specific staple cards or something. I don't know if anything is missing. I actually wouldn't mind another card to like help the the sort of like Jun Dabzani decks. I don't think they've been doing as well, but like Trophy seems to have helped them. They're around. I just don't think they're good still. I mean, I also don't think Trophy helped them very much at all. I think yeah. Trophy's just bad. It's it's fine in small numbers, but it's not game, like a game changer. I think they need some other cheap threat that's good. Like Dark Confound has gotten so much worse, and the Jun decks have gotten a lot worse at being grindy. Mm -hmm. Like that, they're better at being very aggressive. And one of the reasons that Jadine Clemperens is so successful at playing the archetype is that she plays it a lot more aggressively than most people. Sure. Um, so I think they need some other creature that can play aggressively while fitting into an attrition plan, so they they retain the versatility. Um, so, so something like that I wouldn't mind because I think those decks have been down for long enough and I'd like to see them return a little and, and they're also a nice check to the more degenerate decks yeah I agree with that Soul the Rock Ma Malka <laughs> disagrees with the uh, cutting yeah. of Bob yeah of course well who who said cut Bob well I mean no it's just I think you just want another type of Bob right yeah one that's I don't know one that's just uh, better against aggressive decks probably what if, what if they made like a, a three mana three two that thought sees your opponent? Like, but you took the two damage. Seems pretty busted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Rakdos, baby. All right, what if you took four damage? But still be too good, probably, right? You took four damage. Yeah, on a them. body, that's, that's right. still really good. <laughs> so it's quite a um, large amount of damage with their mana base and thought sees anyway. In modern, like, I'm just thinking about in standard them. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't know. I, that just kind of came off the top of my head because we were talking about things with like disruptive elements to them. Also, if it's a human, then humans get to yeah. That's pretty dope. Can't be a human anymore. Oh, yeah. can't, they oh, can't print can't. good humans anymore. Dude, Rectus is all about hedonism. Who do you think is being a hedonist? <laughs> it's, it's the humans. <laughs> or the satyrs, I guess. The yeah. satyrs there. Or the cool. robots. Uh, I Terminator asks me oh. specifically, do I play Magic and what format do I like? Are you kidding? I play uh, Legacy Infect and Modern Shadow usually, and then I mess around in uh, Cube with, he used some, to play, with some of my friends. He basically played every deck that Tom Ross played for <laughs> two years straight, I think. <laughs> I don't play as much these days, uh, but I do still play. I do play a lot on Arena, though. That's fair. Arena's, Arena's great. Is, Arena's a lot of fun. I've been having fun on that, too. All right, well, we're going to take a short break while we prepare sideboarding for Game 2 between... Red, Black, Hollow 1. And Carcal and Ironworks. Be right back. All right, after getting run over in game one, uh, we are going to be sideboarding into a uh, different game plan after game one. Uh, we can still combo kill with Ironworks, but we don't need to combo kill with Ironworks because of how powerful Psy Master Thopters is. Uh, Psy is your sideboard card that doesn't really get hit by a lot of the cards that really dominate your game plan. Uh, you know, the, the really powerful anti-graveyard effects uh, doesn't get hit by Ancient Grudge. And uh, it buys you a lot of time by blocking, and it can also dig for pieces uh, by sacrificing some of your artifacts. Uh, we watched Sidemaster Thopterus last week at Grand Prix Atlanta just dominate um, uh, Martin Juza in this matchup after after Game 1. Game 2, Sidemaster Thopterus just completely took over. Uh, the way we're sideboarding, we need to have uh, some checks for Leyline of the Void. I also like Nature's Claim because it can buy us a lot of time, either gaining full life um, in racing scenarios or just killing Hollow One to uh, slow Ross's clock down significantly, but mostly there just to, to cack Leyline. Uh, Mindstone comes out a lot in, in these matchups, and uh, I think that this is one where we just need to be a little bit slower um, and just kind of grindy, and uh, Mindstone is, is much better when it's a racing scenario. And then uh, 200 Explosives, we're leaving one in because we need a, a, a you know roughly six zero-mana artifacts to be able to chain with our combo, one Mistress Bobble, one Explosives, and then four Mox Opal. Yeah. And then we're cutting a, a Chromatic Sphere because it is the worst cycler when we're comboing. But we need to... Actually, I'm just going to cut another Explosives. I actually just want S this to be able to cast Scooter it. calls out, did Todd consider siding out Terrarian over Spear because it Sphere can actually cantrip with Leyline in play? Yeah, I'm just going to leave the Sphere in. I'm just going to cut the other Explosives. I, I have five. I'll just leave five zero mana things to, to combo with, with uh, Scrap Trawler. Okay. Uh, oh. On my side, I have a lot of cyber cards that are very effective here. Layla in the Void stops Scrap Trawler, stops Mirror Retriever, stops Icar Wellspring, Terrarian, and Chromatic Star. So it is quite good. Uh, and it, it generally, like, this is a card that 
the de the Ironworks deck can answer. So it's not a card that KOs them, but it buys you a lot of time. So I, it, I like it out of decks that have lots of pressure, and that's what this deck does. Yeah. So I'm um, bringing in my Ley Lines, Thoughtseize, Discard Spell against Combo Deck, and then Grudge. Very clearly effective cards here. I'm bringing out all my creature removal. I could try to leave in some pushes for Psy, but that's that just seems so bad. It, it, it's just a, a dead card otherwise, and you need to have a fetch land up or some way to, to turn on Revolt. So I'm just going to try to overload Psy, and that's why I ended up... You saw me have two... Uh, Flame Wick Phoenix is here first, and I switched, swapped him out for Bloodgast, because Bloodgast is a lot worse against Psy. Uh, one, because the tokens just block a trade, that the Psy can check a Bloodgast. Um, and against Flame Wake Phoenix, if they want to kill Phoenixes with Engineered Explosives, they have to blow up their own Psy. Todd's bringing out all the EEs, so that's not going to come up, but it is a consideration in the blind. And then I'm just trimming down on the worst Delve creature, which is sort of the slowest threats in the deck, uh, and the worst... Um, sort of filter spell, and this is the worst one, because it's, again, this is the one that's better, best in grindy matchups, because mm. it's not card disadvantage, right. but it's the slowest one, and I need to aim for some speed here. Sure. So we'll turn a goblin lore. I think, uh, from my perspective, like you, I think cutting the other two blood gas is also a possibility, though you don't want to trim too many cards that really make your deck function. Like, you don't, yeah. if you cut too much of your uh, synergy-based cards, uh, you know, you start to spin your wheels a little too much, like you're your Burning Inquisitor, your Faithless Lootings, and Goblin Lords just aren't really gaining you any traction. They're just kind of wasting time. Yep. Uh, we got a new subscription from Lol J Tech. We appreciate that. That's sub count two. I apologize. I missed the first one today. It must have been during a break or something. Uh, but has a message for Todd. Says, we'll sub to you as well if you stream more. So, Dude, I've, I've been streaming like every day. Oh, more than <laughs> more, more ten hours every more. day. <laughs> All right, no breaks. No breaks. Stream. You're just gonna run an entire stream concurrent with Desert Bus. <laughs> I'll just leave it on. I'll just, but like me and Callie will take turns, like streaming Magic or whatever, and then I'll I'll nap. She'll play. She'll nap. I'll play. Okay. Is your hand good? Yeah, it's fine. It's not so very no. combo-y. No, it's not good. It is fine. <laughs> That's a good start. Yeah, I like this hand. Okay, uh, I'm going to lead off. Hold on there. Okay. Hold the phone. Okay. I have a pregame effect. <laughs> okay, uh, go. I am going to go to 17 and play a flame blade event. All right, so we didn't play the Angel Stirrings because we didn't want to get Thoughtseize, so we're just going to pop this now. You're going to go 21. to 21. I'm at 20 still. It, the nature's claim does go to the graveyard here. Because... I think Leyline's actually exiled, though, which is weird. Well, Rest in Peace would be exiled, but Leyline doesn't exile my graveyard. So it just goes... Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. If, if this were a Rest in Peace, my Rest in Peace would be exiled. All right, we're going to Ancient Starings try to look for a land, I believe. Mox Opal's also fine. Icar Wallspring doesn't seem that bad here. So, I have this weird tension. I don't think we need to play super differently uh, than normal because of Psy, but I'm just going to play this and say go. Okay. This is the turn. Oh. Uh oh. Hope this face is looting's great. Me too. I really that's a, like that's it. a good start. I'm really happy whenever you're happy, Ross. You know, um, I just want only the best for you, buddy. I guess we'll discard the two cards that are good in our graveyard. Nice. Play a Wooded Foothills, return the Blood Guest, uh, attack you for three. Okay, uh, 17. And I'm going to go to 18 and get another Blood Crypt and cast a Hollow One. Okay, and obviously paying the one mana for it yes. because it's only reduced by four. So, I think that's a fairly common occurrence for the deck, actually. Yep. Okay, I will... Yikes. <laughs> mm. I will... Yikes. Well, we, we drew a, a card that... I, I needed a... I kind of... Mm. 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 Hmm. I don't really want to pop this, so I won't. So I will. I need mm, mm, blue. Blue. Crap. <laughs> I 
Should have done green, I guess. Or I should have actually just done this for blue and this one for green. All right, I'm doing it that way, so I don't take a damage. Sure. All right. I have a blue floating. Blue. I guess I should have took a land off of uh, the, uh, the stirrings instead of the opal. I got super punch. I just drew another opal like right off the top for my next draw. Opal's pretty important. I, I would prioritize finding one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Though now you I... don't have any artifacts. Yeah. Which is a problem. Every time you play one of these weirdo modern combo mm -hmm. decks, your draws do not seem to ever come together. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how people play these things. Is this even worthwhile? I think I just need a land. What the heck? I don't have I don't have one of these, so. Ugh. Alright, we're gonna play this and so good. You know, you don't have to tap mana for it. You had a blue floating? Oh, I do have blue floating. Sure, whatever. Okay. That was a good draw. Um, so, I can point crack a fetch. This time we'll just get a mountain. I'm at 17. Yep. And... Get back this thing and attack for nine. Okay, I'm at eight. And then play a Tasker, leaving us with the looting. Do you have two Taskers in your deck? Yes, two two okay. split. Nope. You can go. Uh, Engineer explosives would not be very good against this battlefield. Trigger. Get a Nick Miller token. Ooh, and now Ooh. we got Metalcraft. Best token. This is a nice token. No bias. Okay. All right. Do, do I... you own a brown vest, though? I do not. You you probably should invest in one. Yeah, I was. Uh, someone told one? me I should do the uh, invest. No. Yeah, someone told me I should do my token as a Halloween costume. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a bit much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Well, you, you could have dressed up as Psy Master Thopterus, though, and you just carried around a bunch of your just tokens. hand them out. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna make a. Green. How much can Psy save you? Uh, so I have a colorless floating. You have Shares. a green floating. Oh, yeah. Well, you have colorless green. Colorless green. Yep. Right. Let's get these right next to you. Todd made a lot of creatures. Yeah. I I, had, um, I just really need to hit my line drop. I what shouldn't have gotten a mountain off this. Oh, you need a green for your yeah. ancient grudge? Sure. Well, I don't have grudge in hand, but I just... No, I, no, no, I was you... like, I really want to draw ancient grudge. So let's put me a 15 and give me a, give me a stomp grab. Can do. Can do. Classic <laughs> versus live takes these backsies a turn and a half later. That's fine. It happens. We, we think... I do I do it all the time, man. We just, you just think about it after a minute yeah. and it comes to you. It's okay. Got one card in hand there? Yeah, one card in hand. And you're at nine right now? I'm at nine. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm at eight. Eight. Yeah, I attacked for nine last turn. That was it. Huh. Was this a good draw? <laughs> yeah, just cast it. See what happens. <laughs> kill this and this. That's, so what I'm happens sure if I'm I just going to kill you next turn, so I mean, feel, feel free. So if I kill those two things... Todd gets back something. He's got three blockers. I'm just going to take this and block these two still. Well, like, Psy blocks the blood ghast, and then you just, like, double chump and take three, or... Yeah. I guess you could just take seven and go to one. Yeah. And then you're going to kill me? Yeah. Is your last card Ironworks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to kill you. Like, this is going to be gone, so yeah. it's going to be a lot harder. Well, the fact that I can't kill you with the, the grudge means that I should definitely just kill the trawler and leave the uh, flashback back. Yeah. Mm, that's fine. And I think that means I don't attack with the blood ghast and instead just attack with these. Because I do not have a land right now. Okay, uh, block block and double block the flame blade. Yep. So flame blade trades with a token and you take two. Yep. Right, Brings six. you to six. Pass the turn. Alright, draw. All right, so we can't do this yet. So if we one star, 
That doesn't work. Well, if you draw land off the star, then it'll work. Right, because I, yeah, I need to have this. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, so star, trigger. But then you lose the ability to make mana with this with the KCI. Okay, whatever. This. Oh, you said no pull. I didn't want to, though. I was trying to... Well, stack. you can you can float... Yeah, so you float a mana off the first opal, then play Ironworks off that one. Yeah. yeah. And now you have all the mana in the world. All right, so let's uh, start by... Well, don't start with that because you don't have the trawler yet. You, you yeah. should just... Yeah, 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 yeah. This. Yeah. Get back. So sack that this. for two mana. Get back the trawler. But oh, you still have the grudge, right? So you can oh, yeah. just kill this in response. So, tar so tar target yeah, activation. Tar then I will... Yeah, grudge this. All right, in response. You, I guess as you just make like all the six. mana you can. Maybe you leave the opal. Yeah, you probably leave the opal. But I think you, well, you start, you definitely start with Sacking Star. Because right. you want to see what you draw. I have to. No, because if I do this, I play this, I can sack this, get back this. Well, I guess I already have one in the graveyard, but I, if, yeah. I can play this with the mana floating and then cast this, make a token, it, and I it, just want to provi provide more blockers. That's what I'm saying. It's because you already have an opal in the graveyard that I think you sack the star first. If you didn't already have an opal and you wanted to get it no, back... No, but if, if I sack the star first, I can't get it back because this isn't in play yet. Sure. Oh, yeah. All right, You're so right. I'm going to make four in response. So I got four floating. Uh, three, make a token. Uh, so I have, so one, you have floating. one floating. All right, so I'll make a green back opal and draw a card. I'll play opal, make another token, play Inventor's Fair for land for turn. That's pretty good. And fast turn. I guess, yeah, you can't sack it, so it's not that So good. I'm just going to sack two Thopters probably after jumping to draw a card with Psy. Makes sense. And if you kill Scrap Trawler, I get to get back another star. Hmm. Uh, That's why Psy is so good in this deck after sideboard. It's flashback Faithless Looting. Yeah. And I'm pretty happy I got rid of that Flame Blade Adept, honestly, last turn. Those are the two I discard and attack with everything. All right, let's go Psy, token, token. I'll sack two to draw a card. Yep, and then go to four. Yeah. This dies. Second main, play black, loop list, return it. Yep. Pass the turn. Gain life. You're at five. Psy is really good. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now I can... All right, I'm just going to play this, make a token. I'm going to... Pass the turn, right? I guess, yeah, if I just pass the turn and kill you. But I can also just crack this, right? Well, then you might then you might have to invent a sphere right now, and I could draw Thoughtseize. Sure. That's fair. Um, yeah, sure. Just take yeah, it. Yeah, okay. I don't think you're in any danger of dying. I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Faithless. Sure. What? I drew this, which would be pretty good, but mm. I didn't draw another land to cast it. Aw. Uh, well, you're not dead, dead next turn. I, I still have to get a little lucky. I'm just going to discard those and set up to Leyline next turn. Um, like I kind of just want to draw cards instead of giving Ironworks because I'm just like losing a bunch of value here. It, it's true. You don't have a lot of actual cards, to like draws with KCI. So maybe you just sit here and, and draw cards. Draw two. And keep stalling. Yeah, because I keep gaining life too. Yeah. So. All right, I'm going to... Yeah, just jump, jump, draw two. Or... Yeah, draw one. Draw one, I mean, yeah. But you take two, so you go to three. Uh, second main, I'll play a three mana angler, exiling these four. And pass the turn. Upkeep, you go to four.
This has been a weird game. Sai is kind of messed up. I probably should have just went for Ironworks. Were your draws not very good? No. The thing well, is, if you went for Ironworks and your draws weren't very good, you'd be in a really rough shape too. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, sack this. Get Opal. Gonna get, make some green manas? Like a... Yeah, make the green. Got a green manas. What else we got? I have these. That's the problem. <laughs> well, you're at four right now. This checks here. You take two from this. All right. This um, checks. Take two. I don't want to. I would do this if I didn't know your last card was Leyline. So yeah. I'm just going to nature's claim this. You go to a million. Yeah, like I go to. 19? I had you at 15. I don't know. Yeah, if 15. Yeah. Since then. I'm going to. Stack these two and draw a card. This doesn't count. I think Play you, were, you played a Grove this turn. Oh. You're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Alright, uh, play this, make a Psy token. Draw. Play this. Play this. It's going to... You still have a green floating, by the way. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, so this, this, sec. These two, get this back, draw a card. And then draw a star. Yes, and draw a star. Good call. Okay. Um, this is none floating. kind of gross. I will... Opal. Second trawler? Yeah, but I don't have... I can't, like... Or maybe I shouldn't do that until next turn. Whatever. Okay. And go. Your way, you still just have a million turns. Yep. I mean, Sai is just busted in this matchup. Like, I think you might need to just keep push to be able to kill it. Right. You can't here. combo off with KCI. Are you Sai Master Thopterist? <laughs> <laughs> Less Sai. Yeah. That's. Okay, gain of life. Like, I support Five. all playing of Sai. Okay, um, so I don't have a way to kill Leyline except Inventor's Fair for uh, Big Boy. For Spine? Yeah. Let's see. Play this, get a token. Uh, three, four. three. Yeah, if you just four, throw five. away the if you just throw away the Citadel so one and floating. the Opal. Yeah, one floating. Just get spine, throw these away. Play the spine. Hold on. I'm doing it. Yeah. So you have one floating. Yeah, so sack two thopters, Dark Soul Citadel. That gets you to seven. Cast seven, spine, get a this, token. Get a token. And then I will sack this, get a token, one floating. Th this is a loop, right? I don't know. I like. I mean, this... Plus this is very close to destroy your whole board, if not actually destroy your whole board, and then make infinite mana and kill you. Yeah. Eventually, or some, or or right now. <laughs> we we sh I should have we should have studied the loops before we we did this. <laughs> well, but... I know sp spine. Uh, if if you have spine, chromatic star, mox opal, and one scrap trawler, each iteration nets you minus one mana. But Psy makes nets you infinite mana. And a second scrap trawler nets you infinite mana. So I can yeah. I can spine the your entire side of the battlefield. Yeah. So we, we, make sa we stack star infinite, for two infinite side tokens, and they kill you next turn. Yeah. He has an opal in his yard. So you sack the star for two. Yeah. Uh, I win. Let's just yeah. say I win. Get the opal. Play it. Get a thopter. Make a mana with opal. Sack opal thopter for four. He's up to he's up to seven. Sack the spine. You can get a bunch of mana off of that. Get it. Because oh, yeah. yeah, I get back a like I can get back a wellspring I'm, and. A, that gets back a star, and that gets back an opal. Yeah, it's... I'm I'm laughably dead. All my permanents are gonna die. I drew ironworks. That was the the kicker. If I had, if I had not drawn okay. ironworks there, 
The ley line would have mattered quite a bit more than it did. Do you want to sideboard differently so you can actually kill Psy? Nope. Cause... <laughs> okay. All right. All right, let's, let's get, get a question or two while we're shuffling. Uh, they said, how do you get Spire back? Spire? You mean spine, know. probably? Yeah, I assume they mean... How do you get spine, spine back? Uh, it says when it dies, right? And I, the first iteration I used to kill the ley line of the void, and then after that, every time I sacrifice it, it just comes back. That's just the ability on the card. Okay. Spine of Vish saw is a, an oldie from Scars of Mirrodin block, where you, I played it a lot in blue-black control because you could use it with Mirrodin's core and sacrifice it to gain a life and keep using it as like a recursive vindicate. It was block constructed. You, okay. didn't, you didn't have a lot going on. I was going to say, I, I played the blue and black control deck in standard. And <laughs> no, 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 no. We, were, we weren't doing that. No, 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 no. Are you talking about Drown Yard? Yeah. Yeah. That was not the same deck or format. Yeah. Okay. Game three for all the marbles. Oh, man. Oh, I started with these and I was like, come on, inquiry. <laughs> and Ross, which uh, Phoenix deck do you think is best? The Is It or the Mono Red? I'm inclined to say. Is, is it, it is because it. it's better against the creature decks? I, I wanted the the red to be a little bit better in the matchup that we were playing. It's close though. There, there's a lot more moving parts with the is it deck. Like you need the right mana. Like not sure what to do with your mana morphoses. Like so are you saying you're a grindy deck than a burn meta deck. picking your decks for the matchups for the videos? Well, I'm picking them so the matchups are interesting. Uh, more instead interesting. Of, okay. Instead of just like having a bunch of irrelevant cards that doesn't make for good content. Okay. Shark in the game. Okay. Um, I have a double hollow one draw, but I just don't have a red card, so I don't think I can keep this. Okay. Like well, I just I have a bunch of thought seasons and a blood gas, and it's like This is what of... I'm doing. All my cards cycle though. Yeah. Should I keep this hand? Like if I, I if I draw a faithless looting, this hand might be great. Yeah. Well that's kind of the whole point. Your deck's way better when you draw faithless looting. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I think you I think you mulligan a hand that doesn't have All right. I need inquiry to know looting or add the, up. The aficionados of Ironworks. Do you keep a hand that's just all cyclers? I think game one I could keep this hand, but in game two when they can just play a rest in peace or a ley line, it just shuts off my entire hand. Except yeah. for star and and pyrite spell bond. So Scooter says he'd mull that seven. Yeah. Be for what it's worth. All right, let's get another question. Uh, they said it's Phyrexian's core, not Mirrodin's core. Oh, you're right. You're right. Mirrodin's core was the charge one. Yep. Yeah. My and bad. then. Uh, Captain Command says, what is a modern deck that has a low floor for a newer player? So, a uh, less technically complex deck. Um, and most people will say things like Burn, but... I, I always disagree kind of, with that. Yeah. Burn is not an easy deck. Honestly, I, I think like, Humans is a pretty good one for that. Because it's not super precise, but there's still thing like there's still challenging things, so you'll learn. You don't want to play something super simple and, and just not grow. Uh, but obviously, like I wouldn't suggest playing something like Amulet or Ironworks. Ugh. I think it also depends on the type of player you are and like what your background is. If you're super mathematical minded or something like that, maybe you do want some puzzle deck that you can just solve on your own. Yeah. You know. I think humans is a, is actually a pretty good introductory deck because it teaches sequencing and it teaches you what spells are relevant from your opponent because you're always thinking about what to meddling mage and and what to name with freebooter. You you might not win the absolute most in your first few matches with it, but it's a, a deck that you can adapt to reasonably and will perform well. My six card hand was two thought seizes, hollow one, no black mana, yeah. no red spell. Would circular nice. logic, basking root lala, buried alive, and careful study be healthy cards for modern? Just get out. No. <laughs> get out of here. Why? Why do you want careful study? We're <laughs> just stop. You want me to play blue red dredge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People just want to watch the bull bird. Okay, this is a keeper. Yeah, mine's a keeper too. I'm not sure if I want to keep this card on top though. I'm just going to see how Ross scries. Mm. Mm. I think I have to bottom this. Then I'm going to bottom mine too. Ah. If I knew I was drawing a Street Wraith <laughs> or I thought this was a matchup, I could like wait till turn three. But it's just not. I think I have to find some disruption. All right. You got two ley lines? Nope, got none. Because the second, it. Nature's Claim one on the bottom. <laughs> just as a. 
hope, hope this doesn't turn out poorly. Your turn. Well, if I had known I was drawing that one. Um, so let's start 17. with, yeah, a Blood Crypt. Hmm. Not exactly sure how to sequence this. I get because I could inquiry here and get my hollow one for free, but then I could discard it, or could faithless looting guarantee I get to hollow one? I think faithless looting guarantee you get to play hollow one is way better. Yeah, uh, the floor is just too low. And like, if you miss, you're screwed. And plus, if if you hit another hollow one, right, you can just play your land faithless looting again. I, or I guess if you're street or anything, I don't know. Uh, get Temple or Stomping Ground. I'm at okay. 14. Play a Hollow one. Uh, we're going to play Terrarium, Star, Opal. Good. That's pretty good. I agree. Where are you, Stomping Ground? Did I miss it? How many cards? You got two cards in your hand? I have two cards, yes. And three on the battlefield they can cycle. All right, so you've gone to 14? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty typical opening from Ironworks. They're very insulated from discard. You know, like you like if I get hit with this card spell right now, yeah, I'll lose my Ironworks. That's and that that would make my draw a lot worse. But at the same time, I'm just going to kill your thing. Uh take away his pressure. He's at 18. Hey, I know thoughts easier. Yeah, like I but I still have three cards that I can cycle to. So you're at 16 now. So I'm at 12. Or no, yeah, I gained four, so I'm at yeah. 16. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will pass the turn. Yep, we're under basically no pressure, so I don't know if I'm even going to... I wonder if I should have kept a land over this inquiry. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt my head. <laughs> okay. Man down. Mm, man. <laughs> Hand down, man down. Uh, you can keep the top three. Discarding. Gurmag Hollow one. Yikes. <laughs> Pass the turn. All right. Um, Couldn't let me keep those three. That would have been way better. <laughs> Uh, green, blue. Sure. Green, blue. Mm. Two colors. One colors. Um, I feel like I'm going to die. No, I don't really have anything else. Just pop the sphere. All right, uh, go for a green. No, we'll go for a blue so I can maybe sigh. Okay, no, I think you're dead. Trawler? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, we still Wait. don't... You're not dead. But... Might. Did I, did I already get one from this? No, not from the trawler. So, is there merit? Do you have a two drop in there? No, you have no. a draw wellspring. Okay, right. mm, or sorry, uh, I need you for one. I'm just gonna say go. So I'm at fifteen. Probably should just sack a Nick Miller over this opal. Yeah. Get her, Nick. No. <laughs> I go to thirteen. Sure. Sigh is good. Sigh is good. Strong card from the sideboard. Looting. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Ross, what are you doing? Go. Okay, let's see if we can actually kill you this turn. I'm a 13. Probably, right? I'm going to go with probably. Okay, so we've got Inventor's Fair. What can we do with that? 
Can we, can we actually... Is that a loop? Can someone help me? Is Advantage Fair plus Mirror Retriever a loop? Is it create a loop of any kind? Is that the uh, the bird meme? Or the butterfly meme? Is, th is, is this, this a loop? Is this a loop? <laughs> Alright. Uh, sack of Advantage Fair. What are you doing? F2. F F6. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so we're going to go get our... Uh, I'm just going to assume it's a loop, but I'm going to go through it. Scooter says get retriever. Yeah, I said get retriever. Okay. All right, sack this, get this back. And now I can sack retriever. You just like... I don't have anything to do with it. Oh, so. you need, yeah, you don't have... I, mean, I don't have a mana sink, so I just... I sack this to get back... Do you have a spell in your hand? No, that mm. will not cost okay. green. Actually, let's see. I can... I can, yeah, I can't activate ability. Hmm. I don't know how this works. Yeah, you need something to announce so you can sack them both at the same time, but you don't right. have that. Right, right, right. So, actually, no, no, no. I sack these yeah, instead just, of this. Right? Yeah, just don't tap your lands. Leave your barrier and untap. Right, and then, yeah, that, that makes way more sense. Okay, so now I'm going to... Announce the activation of buried ruin. Sack. You just sack these two. These two? Because okay, of the so retreat, gain... they just get back to each other, right? Okay, so I'm then I'm buried running back, dude. I, I'm gonna sack this too. I just it's too hard. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. Just let me stop playing. This is this is the cardboard crack comic in actuality. Okay. You lose. I'm gonna have to play the Ironworks deck at some point so we can actually go through all the loops. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to sack the. Uh, the retriever and the and the trawler, so the trawler gets back the retriever, and the retriever gets back the trawler. I think you also m maybe sacrifice the ironworks too, because no. it gets back. Well, you just, you just sack those two, and then you keep netting mana every time and drawing a, a like. Oh no, because they they get back each other. You just keep you just net a, a bajillion mana, right? You lose, and then and keep making tokens. I'm just, you so know, once you have I'm the never going to play in a tournament. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I do care. You you I, okay? I'm sorry. That was really rude. I would like you to explain this for everyone at home. That is my uh, my apologies. Yeah. I just I'm really hot. <laughs> I hate this deck. It's too hard, and I look like a buffoon. <laughs> well, Looks like won... a duck. Quacks like a duck. Well, you won the match. It's a duck. Um, and the day. I do you need another trawler? Because like you sack the you sack the trawler and the and the retriever at I have the same the opal time. Opal too, right? So I, I have the opal too. I forgot that I just had opal underneath sure. my stuff. But when so. you, when you sack just the two at the same time, then. I guess if you, but if you if you sack just those two at the same time, they each get back each other. But if you're able to sack the KCI as well, then the KCI gets back the trawler, the trawler gets back the retriever, and the retriever gets back the KCI. But it's still a contained loop. You never net anything else. No, but you for, you're forgetting the uh, so you get a mirror trigger ability, and then you get a scrap trawler ability off. Oh, of you off the, the retriever. retriever. Yeah. yeah. So you you so when you do that, so the the scrap trawler is then going to trigger for each of those two things, the trawler itself and the retriever. The scrap trawler sacrificing itself uh, from itself will get back the retriever. The retriever will get back a one mana card, like a, a chromatic star. And then the retriever's ability can trigger and target the scrap trawler. Yeah. And then you just recast them. And then the the uh, you draw a card off of the the star. You have enough mana to do everything because of Psy. Because yeah. each artifact nets you to essentially two mana. So they all cost two less. Psy, I don't and think Psy is a relevant deck. factor. Like once, yeah. once you have Opal, I think you have mana enough thing, mana anyway. Retriever. Scrap Trawler, one mana thing, Opal, Ironworks is infinite. Yeah. If you have anything to start, you need something to start the chain so that you can sacrifice yeah. the, the Scrap Trawler and the, the Mirror Retriever at the same time. That way you can create like an extra trigger somewhere to get back something. And maybe you don't even yeah. need, I don't you, know. You, you just announce some spell or ability that you can potentially cast or, you, or activate, and then you can use any number of mana abilities at paying for that, and you can overpay. And that lets you get all the artifacts going to the battlefield at effectively the same time, or the triggers don't go on the stack until you're done paying, um, and so they can all see each other and target each other. I don't really like how that works. I think no, it's stupid. Yeah, I think it's. I think they need to reform the rules to stop those. Uh, the those the things. infinite loop of being able to overpay just yeah. is, is really silly to me. So, but it's it's like this weird functionality within magic's mana system where it's it's like the same reason why you get to like float mana or whatever yeah. like it's I, it's well it's about how the order of like 
things that you have to do to cast a spell. It's really strange. But regardless, I was very dead there. So I was excellent in the post sideboard games. Absolutely. Uh, Even if I didn't draw the Ironworks the turn, I did. I was just going to try to chain off a bunch of artifacts, make a bunch of one ones with Psy. Even if you put up pressure, I was going to brick wall most of it, draw extra cards yeah. off of it, and eventually find the combo kill. Yeah, maybe you do need to leave in some pushes or have some better way to deal with Psy in your sideboard than Fatal Push. Something like Conflagrate like, and playing uh, Dredge. <laughs> yeah. Um, because that, that looked really rough. And I, that seems to be what happened to Juza in the top eight as well. At least so. in game two. I, I, yeah. I don't think I was able to watch game three, but yeah, the, the side played a huge role in one of the games. Yeah. So uh, we're already a little bit over time here. So I'm going to try to wrap this up one by telling you one last time about SCG regionals this weekend. You can go to starcitygames.com uh, and find all the information there. There are 14 locations. First 200 people to register at each location will get a play mat special to that uh, to that city where wherever it is. And top eight will get a play mat and a pin. There's plenty of money and uh, SCG tour points available at regionals. So please look into that if you're free and interested in going modern format. You can play any of these six decks. They're all pretty good. Uh, we well, also well, please, please don't. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you'll upset Todd too, and that's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> also have tomorrow at uh, at nine at ten a.m. Pacific time. Desert Bus for Hope is starting. That is uh, brought to you by the Loaded Ready Run people. Uh, they play Desert Bus, do a bunch of cool stuff, raising money for Child's Play, a charity that helps children in pediatric hospitals and other child welfare facilities. They'll go on as long as they keep getting donations. Last year, they raised over six hundred fifty thousand dollars. Went on for about a week. Mm. They do a bunch of cool, crazy stuff. Take suggestions from the audience. So please tune into that over the next week or so, mm-hmm. if and when you have time. We got the Pro Tour this weekend. We got regionals. We got so much going on. It's going to yeah. be a great weekend. Yeah. I mean, you can basically pick your own poison, but you have a lot to choose from. Uh, we really hope you go out to regionals. Uh, personally, I've played uh, like five different ones or so over the course of my career here at Star City Games. And uh, usually we play the one in uh, South or North Carolina. Yep. Um, I forget the name of the city. It's where the Tri State or the Tri Cities or whatever it's called. The... It's in Raleigh, I think, usually. Raleigh. Raleigh, Durham. Raleigh, Durham. And then, like, it's near Charlotte, so they call it the Tri Cities, I think, or something. Near. Anyway, I've always had a great time at the events. The, they're usually well run because uh, Star City Games takes choosing the, the TOs we work with pretty seriously. So uh, expect to have a lot of fun, expect the prizes to be really good, and expect to have pretty decent competition. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to do it for Versus Live today. We don't really have time to take questions. Actually, no, I'll take two. P- yeah. Give me your best two. Uh. Well... What would the deck you bring to regionals be? Team for box. both of you. The end. Team no, I just, I, if I'm going to regionals this weekend, I'm playing whatever deck I want to play, and that's just all my favorite cards in a deck. I would dredge. Yeah, of course. It's fun. I probably if if you want to win the tournament, play humans or dredge. Uh, if if you are very well versed in uh, like a Tron strat, uh, amulet strat, something like that. Play that. Ironworks. Yeah. yeah. Play that deck if you know how to play it. Don't try to pick up an Ironworks deck just for the weekend. Don't try to pick up a, a Primal Amulet or not that uh, <laughs> Amulet of Vigor, Titan. Amulet Titan deck for the weekend. It's it's too hard. I played I played th- these decks like four times each or something on the Versus series so far, and I just keep looking like an idiot. Okay. Well, I'll take the Ironworks deck the next time. Good. And then you can look like an idiot. <laughs> I don't look like an idiot doing complicated things. I look like an idiot doing very simple things, like paying for packs. Nice. That's my brand. That's fair. All right, one more. And last one. What is a good way to improve as a kind of new player besides playing a lot of MTG Arena and watching your videos? Honestly, it comes with reps. Personally, like you you need to basically have like the, a two-pronged attack when it comes to getting better at Magic. You need to uh, digest content. And you need to digest content that uh, is easy to understand. Uh, you need to be able to read an article or whatever and, and understand what the author is trying to tell you. And I think that there's a, a lot of material uh, that, that you can read on StarCityGames.com. Uh, but there's a lot of great uh, other great websites and great content producers that make uh, things like YouTube videos that show you how to play certain decks. And if you just get good with one deck, that usually will snowball into you just getting better at magic. Yes, I agree with all that. I, one thing that I often tell people is to not hamper yourself because you're a new player by trying to maximize your uh, win rate in the short term. Mm-hmm. Always take a long term perspective when you're new. And by that, I mean, uh, from the, the previous question that Nick had posed about uh, a, a little while ago from someone asking what a good deck for a new player is. 
Like I, I say humans, and it, one because humans is a, is a very good deck, and not, and I noted that it's not the simplest deck. And some people will give you try to give you something really underpowered that's super straightforward and say this can steal games from people. You want to be playing decks that still can win in right now at your level of skill wherever you are at, at this point, but also decks that are powerful enough and good enough that will teach you how high level tournament magic goes. Yeah. And so a deck like Humans has a lot of sequencing that you learn, a lot of combat math that's really important across uh, all different metagames and all formats. And uh, will also just teach you about the modern metagame from having to figure out what you need to be naming with Meddling Mage, what you need to be taking with Kite Self Rebooter. Mm -hmm. So there, it's a deck that isn't necessarily going to bring you a lot of wins, even though you might be less experienced than your opponents. But it's a deck that will force you to get better. Yeah. That's the kind of things that you need to be doing. You need to be actively look uh, making your decisions to get better rather than actively making your decisions to win the most at while, your FNM. While being not great. Yeah. You know, like always prioritize getting better and prioritize the long term over prioritizing the short term. Yeah, I mean, if you're a newer player, you, you're probably not super aware of, of the legacy format, especially if you're uh, uh, or even uh, the modern. If, format. if you're getting into like arena specifically, since there aren't any older cards on there, I'll say this. Uh, Brad Nelson said something to me a long time ago that really stuck with me. Um, if like if this is specifically for legacy, but it rings true in, in theory. If you want to get better at Legacy, you need to be trying to cast the card Brainstorm. Because it, it is a fairly complex card for one mana that is uh, nearly ubiquitous in, in the format. Now, if you try to apply that to a different format, you can't really use the same card. But it holds true what Ross is saying. You, you don't want to limit yourself to playing a, a, a more simplistic deck uh, just so it'll give you a higher chance to win. You need to focus on playing a strategy or playing a card or playing a deck that's going to... Uh, Put you in a pickle in a lot of spots where you just don't really know what to do, and and that's fine because eventually uh, you're going to start making the right decisions. Once you make enough wrong decisions, you're just going to eventually come to the right decisions, and that's better overall than playing a deck that just rewards you for co continually making mistakes. Yeah, it's better to go one three or F and M and learn than go two two or three one because you happen to run hot that week with mm -hmm. your underpowered like goblins deck or something. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well, uh, that's going to do it for today's edition of Versus Live. As Ross said, we do have SCG Regionals this weekend. Make sure to check out Uh For more information, we have a, a big banner to tell you where you can find that. Uh, Desert Bus uh, starts tomorrow at 10. We say 10 Pacific? 10 Pacific. Yep, and uh, also the Pro Tour starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, so make sure to tune into that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Great weekend. Uh, that's all I got. Engine Stirrings was the victor. Barely. Ban that card. Let me play with Faithless Loons. <laughs> Yeah, do it. Or just unban the blue ones, you know. Either way. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching Versus Live, everyone. And we'll see you uh, next week, yeah. uh, Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Probably, as well probably as get some more Brad Nelson next oh, week. Oh, yeah. Brad's going to come back from the Pro Tour, and he's going to be itching to play on some Versus Live. But thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.